What's going on guys? Welcome back to another review. The long-awaited Scream Season 3 or Scream Resurrection revamp, reboot, spin-off. It's been labeled as a lot of things right now. The first two episodes premiered last night, the next two episodes premiere tonight, then the last two episodes premiere tomorrow. We'll review two episodes at a time every day. So here are the first two episodes review. Tomorrow we'll do three and four. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of people already just absolutely shitting on the show. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I, I think I went in with such an open mind because I knew that it was going to be bad, right? Like, did anyone really expect it to be good? That's what I'm getting lost with the reviews because, like, <laughs> they're talking about it as if it's Scream Four, and I don't like or Scream Five. I'm not. I don't like that. Like, it's it was. You have to realize it's coming off Scream TV series season one and two, which weren't good in their own right. They were okay, yeah. decent. You could find a way to enjoy them. Um, but was it the best acting in the world? No. <laughs> was it the best writing in the world? No. <laughs> so when this came, when this was announced in the first place, and can, you know, keeping in mind all the fails that came along with it, with Weinstein having the, that whole issue, and then the long awaited release date, did we any, did any of us expect it to be good? I, I mean, we were, we were talking two and a half years ago. Right. When they, when they announced this, uh, this reboot, uh, season of Scream, and we were like, why reboot it for no reason? There was still a good story going on in season two, and there was a cliffhanger. Yeah, a huge cliffhanger. That they just right. li that they threw away. We're never going to continue that. Yeah, I, it's it was always an interesting choice to us because the reason they did it. And they, I mean, this is, they just wanted to be more diverse with the cast. Which cool, I get it. It's 2019, dude. Like let's let's do that. Let's have more diverse cast. But it's in, when you throw away one cast to make another, it already causes issues, right? And it's already weird. And he had to start a whole new story, and it was a story that people were enjoying. So it started with controversy to begin with. Yes. Uh, and then, of course, like I said, you mix in the wine scene issues in the mix of that, and it's even more controversy. Right. It's been looking for a home for two years. It was supposed to premiere, what, maybe two months after all the wine scene uh, situation happened and the Me Too movement really took off. Yeah, right. And then... We just didn't hear it. Like it didn't premiere, and nobody said a word. Yeah, I can't. I can't blame them. Right? Oh, no, like absolutely that. Not. That shit was bad. It was really bad. Yeah. Uh, and why put something with Weinstein's name out uh, when you don't need to? Right? No one. Nobody was right. like begging for this. Right. Is a thing. Mm -hmm. Um. So here, let's actually talk about the show itself. First of all, I want to start with the cast um, itself because a lot of people. That was one of the big concerns. You're completely recasting. What's it? What's the new cast going to be like? I don't really don't think any of them are bad. Mm -mm. And, and one of the things they're pushing is the Breakfast Club idea um, that they're all following very specific tropes. You have Dion Elliott, who is your your jock. You have Beth being your goth girl, Liv being your nice, smart, final girl vibes. Manny's your gay character. Um, and I mean, in here we've had we've had Kiki Palmer being the the, the rebel, the rebel. Right. You also see Tyga a little bit. By the way, Tyga plays a way less important role so far than I anticipated. And that people were concerned about that too. Could Tyga really pull off a good performance? He hasn't been bad, by the way. He just really hasn't been important. Right. He hasn't mm. been bad, but we also haven't seen a lot of him, so Yeah. And then people were excited for Paris Jackson and she's in it for what, maybe five minutes? No um, less. Yeah, it's Three. not not much. But I mean that's that's scream, man. Yeah, she kind of sucked anyway, I'm going to be honest with you. She was one of the cringiest parts of the show so far. Like, the thing is with Scream, yeah, you have that opening scene that, you know, has the, the star that's going to die. Bella Thorne did it in season one. Right. But the thing is, she didn't die. Yeah, and it just wasn't good. <laughs> and just that, like, it's weird. It was These puppies were expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just cliche as all could be. Uh, which brings me to the worst part of the show so far. By, like, by a mile... The what's holding this show back is the writing. I mean, it is unnatural. The dialogue is fucking horrendous, and the, it just doesn't make sense. The things that are happening, the the people that like the decisions being made don't make any sense, especially because they're self aware on some of these horror tropes. Yeah. And the re and it's not like Scream was like okay, like for example, Scream where she points out a bad decision, right? Like Sydney's like, hey, why are these? Uh, big-breasted women running out the front door. They should be running up, the, or why are they running up the stairs? They should be running out the front door. It's insulting. Like they do the same type of thing using Beth, using their goth character, but then they make the same decision. But it's like a decision that you wouldn't make even if you were the dumbest fucking person in the world. Yeah. And then there's there's like 
for example, I don't know if this is a spoiler, but I don't really think it is. But there's there's they, there's a point where they're holding the killer at gunpoint, and they don't do anything. And to 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 have cold feet at first makes sense to me. I think I'd do the same thing. Like I don't want to shoot anybody, but like when the person you're holding the gun to starts fighting back, yeah, you probably pull the trigger, wielding the knife around, like yeah, like or you'd shoot him in the leg or something. I mean, you you, you don't just let him go away because. After you get attacked by him, yeah, it was it was more scary movie than Scream. Yeah, they're all they're, it's it's almost a parody, uh, almost. It, it's it's in some at some point, and and like yeah, not like uh, not like how Scream was, right? Like it, they're trying to do what Scream did, but they don't have Kevin Williamson to pull it off, and I think that's like the biggest flaw of the show. Yeah, the. The writing is pretty bad, but at least some performances can can salvage what bad writing uh, did. Yeah, and the thing with they they're already very aware that they're going with tropes. Yes, like they literally say, "Oh, we're all the cliche characters in a horror movie or, or the Breakfast Club," and like they they know what they're doing. But even then, this, the the writing is just so bad that it, it does not reflect what Scream did. Right. Um, yeah, the, the first episode. If you, if that sat alone during, if this was seriously a six week uh, show, and we only watched the first episode, I would have already thrown this show out completely. Uh, Cancelled after one episode. Man. Yeah, yeah, the first episode's not good, uh, mainly because they have to develop so many characters so quickly in an hour, <laughs> and it really it's more like thirty five minutes. A lot, the of commercials com- a lot of commercials were insane. A lot of um, it, it, it's it's TV, you know. Right, and they and they. <laughs> Pairing it up with the second episode like that allowed them to, you know, to, to run cover more, up their mistakes. <laughs> well, yeah, run more commercials, but and I imagine they probably cut a decent amount out. Yeah, probably. Um, but yeah, pairing it with that with the second episode, um, it's it, we went from really really fast in the first episode trying to develop and develop and push these what these characters are going to be for this next five episodes to a a little bit slower episode two and. If they, yeah, pairing them up was a good choice there. Yeah, well, like, it, everyone would be pissed if we only got episode one. Right. It really was, it was that bad. The second episode, it's a, it's a lot of it is in the school. Yes. And it feels more like Scream. It's slowed down. It's a cool environment. Yes. And we get, we get a run with these characters a little bit more. But it, even then, it, it just, it's just the writing. Yeah. Seriously, the biggest flaw is the writing. Some of the acting's bad. Like it's, but it's not so bad that I wouldn't be able to enjoy it if the dialogue made any sense and the choices made sense and I could relate to the character that they're trying to create. Yeah. Um, and that's the biggest flaw of Scream so far. It it just doesn't make much sense. Yeah. I do appreciate the fuck out of Roger Jackson being in this. I like. I'm so glad the Ghostface look is back, and I I kind I I like that Tony Todd had a cameo with a hook as a hooked killer. Yeah. I thought that was interesting as well. I wonder if we're going to see any any more of him. Like You know, on IMDb, he has one episode. Damn. Which means he has two episodes. And he's already seen, we've seen him in both those episodes so far. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I wish they, they could have brought him back. Like, you know, maybe it's him. Maybe it's him the whole time. I also wanted to, I wanted to address that, too. I've seen some reviews saying that, like, are we even invested enough? Do we Can we relate to the characters enough to care who the killer is? For me, yeah. I fucking love mystery shows yes. and mystery movies like the, i i like like i'm a scooby-doo guy right like i like being able to guess who the person is and and i still find some value in that i find some mm-hmm. entertainment in that still um but like I, yeah i think it's it, at least you get that much out of it there were some reviews saying that like you have no idea who the killer could be and the the mystery part of scream where you're guessing who the killer is isn't there in this season and I just don't see how you cannot see it. Yeah, I, I I would disagree with that. At the very least, you have you have that guessing game element. Yeah, and we did we did it last night the whole time. It's like ah, <laughs> oh, it's obviously that bitch. Like it was like the whole time we were doing that, and that's part of the the fun of these movies. Yeah. Uh, also, in, <laughs> the whole concept of the show is based on guilt and a mistake that was made in the past. Yeah. And it's so, I know we did last summer, it's ridiculous. Yes. So at the very least, although the writing, again, still bad, at the very least, they know what decade they're representing here. 
and they're trying to do it justice, but like I said, it's just it's just not good. <laughs> right. Just and, not good writing. And like I said, the step from uh episode one to episode two was 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 a decent step in in quality. Yeah, the writing was still eh. But again, there's still four episodes left. You can't you can't say that this show couldn't have been made, like some uh some uh reviews have said. You can't say that yet. We don't know what the payoff's gonna be. Yeah, we you, we we could guess, but <laughs> it's I don't I don't think it's fair to say it, like oh they should have just left it dead and buried like the sh- the show itself shouldn't have been dead and buried because it left on a cliffhanger in the first place. Do I think it should have been completely recast and restarted? I still not too sure about that decision. Um, because but to, it but stand alone by itself is it okay? I could get through it so far. Yeah, I mean, there's an audience for it. Uh, you know, it, it was very limited, like Canada couldn't even watch it I'm, yeah there is no vh1 for uh for canada but like internationally especially in uh in south america like the people that have seen it who love scream diehard scream fans they're they're digging it you know they're not fanboying it they're they're saying you know yeah the writing's pretty bad but it, it, it still feels a, like scream although there's only i think 40 something reviews 43 yeah. reviews on indb uh it has an 8.1 which uh, that that's that is tremendously high. All right, I'll give it like a five. I, right now, I'm at like a five. First two episodes together, yeah, I give it a five. That's yeah. fair. That's very fair. Um, you know, it, at talk. least it feels like Scream enough. The, Especially, and the ghost face helps. Yeah. If if you let's see, okay, if you don't like seasons one and two, don't waste your time. You're not going to enjoy this one. Right. I'll tell you that much. Right. Like if you can't separate the quality between the films and this you're not you are not going to like it um if you find enjoyment in the first few seasons and you could get through it and just had fun with it i think you will so far i think you'll enjoy it i think it's just as shitty as that those were yeah <laughs> i think it's ju- uh, just a, a par with that um but yeah like i said five, five out of ten i think is fair yeah so far you know when it finally comes to some sort of streaming service which i'm sure it will um if you can't watch it already, check it out. Like it, if you're if you're a Scream fan, if you're a fan of the series, let, just watch. By it. the time it comes to a streaming service where there's no advertisements in between, no commercials, you're looking at maybe four hours of of entertainment. Yeah. Um. So it's really not. It's not bad. No, definitely not. Definitely not as bad as you have to you know shut it off and not watch anymore. You can get through it. If you watch the first two seasons that is well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you enjoyed those um listen if you if you like scream three i think you'll like it too there you go all right if you have watched the first two episodes let us know your thoughts we always uh, we rambled a little bit there we <laughs> always do with reviews you know it is uh that's passion it's hard yeah but let us know your thoughts in the comments below we'll be back again tomorrow to review episodes three and four and then on wednesday to thursday back on thursday again to review episodes five and six, and that'll be a wrap on that, and we'll discuss the whole killer review and things like that. Yeah. Um. Hopefully, it's hopefully it gets hopefully it's taking steps forward, not taking steps back. That's all I. That's enough for me to be satisfied with the end of the show. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> all right, but that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.